Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the 1.6 playthrough in Stardew Valley, where we join Walter here on his new farming adventure on Bluebell Farm. Good morning Chief, how are you doing? Let's check the weather, I mean it's raining today which is amazing, but it's a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. We do have amazing luck today as well, which is going to set us up nicely for today. It's raining, we don't have to do any watering, it's the 9th of spring, we've got crops in the ground, we got some cookies from mum, life is good here on Bluebell Farm. Let's go and sort out the animals, our chickens, we can't let them outside today, but we can go and say hello. Good morning little chickens. Fishy and row. random weird names, but you know what, I'll take it. Do we have any um, animal food left? Maybe we should buy some today, they can't go outside and graze, so... If we don't have any food left, we've got to go and pick some up. Oh, we have seven pieces. Okay, I'm going to put four in there. Do we have a mayonnaise machine just yet? We still don't have a mayonnaise machine. Nope. Right, there we go. There's your food. I'll even put some in for tomorrow as well. So we've got 3K. We've already upgraded the backpack. We've even got the fiberglass rod. So we're doing quite well with money. Um, I think I'm just trying to save up as much as possible now, ready for the festival, the egg festival, so we can go ahead and get strawberry seeds that I can fill like in this area. But what I want to do is I want to grind in the mines to get as much iron and copper ore as possible. I really want sprinklers. We need to do a layout with sprinklers so I don't have to keep watering. Uh, we don't even have the recipe for the first ones yet, the, the standard. But the mines are open, we can make a start and at least, yeah, get something done. So, for now, we don't need the fishing rod. I've got cookies and parsnips for food. We found the new wooden club down there, which is awesome. The last time I went into the mines. We need 25 copper ore for the first furnace, which we've not even got yet, so we do have to work towards that as well. Oh yeah, look at all this bait, I'm going to attach that to the rod. 95 in total, wow. Now it looks like we can actually make a few pack of wild seeds here, we've got 20 of those. I'm not sure if it's, probably, maybe we can plant those. It might not be a bad idea. But let's go, let's head up to the mines. Oh, new wormies, guys, this is good. Can we get some new carrot seeds? We need some new... Yes, we did get one single carrot seed, but that's good because we need this for the spring crop bundle. Let's go. We can't forget about the cauliflower. I've not purchased one just yet. Unless any of the mixed seeds are going to give them to us, but I don't know if they will. So I'm going to plant the carrot seed and go ahead and get a green bean and a cauliflower and then go to the mines. The only thing about if we get the cauliflower, it's going to stay in the ground for a long time and it's, it might mess up my layout with um, sprinklers so I'll have to kind of be a bit clever with this but let me pick up these seeds so we need one collie and one bean now it is raining so I'm not worried too much about having to come back and plant these so we'll do that at the end of the day I'm so glad we got the carrot seed though I think different seasons you find so like maybe in summer we'll get the new squash and then in autumn we will find the broccoli and then in the winter the powdered melon so I think each season you'll find the different seeds from the new worms so carrots is going to be obviously this season. Have we got any food up here? Um, you've got six spring onions, nice. I'll keep the seed in the chest, make sure I remember that. And let's try and make our way down. Oh yeah, this new bat's going to, this new club is going to be amazing. Look how powerful it is early on. Crab, crabby, crabby, let's go. But we need copper, the main thing. That's what I really want. Two swings and the die? Wow, this thing is insane. Now, we do have a really good look there today. It doesn't feel like it so far. Cannot find the ladder to save my life. There's no ore or anything valuable on this floor. Yeah, it's not been very good. Where the hell is this ladder? There it is. Finally. Right, first copper node. This does not feel very good. Still, where's the copper at? I thought we'd have seen more than this by now. Right, got one up here. One single node. Okay. That's how it's going to be, is it? Poor Walter. Making him work even harder than he has to. Oh, we've got to get one of the quests done, though. Yeah, we've got to reach level 40, and we can also enter the Adventure Guild now as well. We had to slay 10 slimes, right? So that's good. Walter is a monster slayer. He's meant to be really good at mining. Can't find ladders. Doesn't seem to be doing the best. There we go. You want some, dear? A slime was laughing at Walter. This embarrassing effort. It's already two, like nearly 2:30 p.m. Wow. 
Hey, this time we finally got down a little bit faster. Oh, I'll take this one copper down here though. Oh, there's another one to the left. This is what I'm, I'm mainly coming for. So as soon as we get to level 20 though, it's going to be a little bit easier to farm for copper because that's one of the best floors. So we do need to make our way down as well. We're nearly on floor 10 already. Let's go. Now this one should be easy. We are already though, kind of low on stamina. So I guess we'll eat these cookies. This is going to give us a good boost, allow us to go a little bit longer. And that was the way down, but I need these crates. So let's go and get these. Could be something good in here. But we got absolutely nothing, of course. That's just the way this is going to go. Hey, there we go, though. So we have randomized these, so we do get different weapons. The Iron Dirk. Yeah, it's a rubbish dagger. We, we don't need to do anything with that. We'll stick to our trusty old wooden bat. God, these floors are so dead, though. This... There's already nothing here. It's better to come to the mines on bad luck days, I swear. I always have better luck on the bad luck days. Concerned Ape is lying to us. Good luck actually means bad luck. That could be one of the secrets. Everyone feels like they should be going out on good luck days, when really, it's a terrible luck. Right, finally, we've got a little bit of copper. So we've got 23 pieces. Oh, no, this is not good. I'm just trying to do my thing, you know. And I need this floor because there's quite a bit of copper on it. So I'm going to have to stand my ground and fight. Come on, Walter. You could do this. Thank God for this weapon. Oh, we got the way down as well. Perfect. Well, we sorted that one out. No test for Walter here. Now, this is probably one of the best floors I've seen. We've actually got an amethyst here. I'm going to eat some parsnips. Can we get a way down to get to floor 15? There we go. We actually did find it. I'm just going to take these crates. And there's one copper node and we are done. Right, I think that's all the stamina we've got to be honest. So, I don't think we're going to have enough energy and time to go down to 20. So, I might just leave it here. 15 is not bad. That was a good shift really. Yeah, we'll try again another time. It allows me to go back and plant the seeds as well. Which I do need to take out the chest. We can't forget about those. Five geodes, two earth crystals, ready for the mayonnaise machines. Not bad, not bad. Um, it's 37 copper ore in the end. That's going to allow us to get the furnace. We can actually craft this now. That's good. And we're going to have 17 left over plus the... How much do we have at home? I forgot. We can at least get a couple of bars though. This is good. Right, the furnace for now can just be placed. Um, might just keep it here near the bush. We'll have a few going across there. Did we find any coal? Yes, so let's get our first copper bar smelted. Alright, alright. Let's get these planted. The green bean can go at the top because... Um, oh, can we fit it there? It's going to have to go there. So this is going to kind of be the layout. It's going to be hard to see right now. But I've started it off in this like top right corner and I'm going to continue this going all the way down. This is where the sprinklers are going to go. The cauliflower I've just planted there. So that should be fine. Uh, it can stay there all season now. And yeah, we'll kind of finish this off once these crops have grown, but we still need to work on the resources for the sprinklers. So I think it's time to sleep. Our first bar is done, but we'll get that in the morning. So let's go to sleep. That's been It's been a hard day. And finally, got level two foraging. We can actually make coal ourselves. Level one combat as well. We can make the bug steaks, which is really good. And yeah, 250 gold. Not much to talk about there, is there? But it's all good. Every little bit helps. So it's the 10th of spring, um, we've got a rerun that I think we've already learnt, Wednesday, so weather report is sunny tomorrow, and our look is, it's a good look day today, nice. Yeah, so there we go, you can kind of see the layout much better now, and these will all grow very soon, hopefully before the festival, so then we can kind of plan the layout much better for the straws. should be quite good. But, we've got a water today, sadly, but on a brighter note, the chickens will be allowed to roam today, it's nice and sunny. And the grass has been growing for a few days, which is lovely. And we'll sort the chickens out now because I do have to fill up the watering can. Hey, journal complete for our first bar. Let's go. Right, let's let them out. Let's fill this up. Give them a pet before they roam. Oh, we just leveled up our farming, I think, because we've uh, got some ideas to sleep on. Nice. Does that mean we can now get the first sprinkle of the basic. That might be the case, that's exciting. We can start to bring this layout to life. Um, but we still need to get down to the iron floors yet though to get loads of iron. Crops are all watered and sorted. Good morning, Winston. 
How you doing, Chief? Yeah, so this layout's gonna be... This, this It's gonna work. Like, the next one you see goes here, so I've gotta wait for the crops. But it's kinda gonna go all the way, like, diagonal down here. It should fit this perfectly, to be honest. I completely forgot about this random, lonely cauliflower. We can't forget about that. So whilst I've got the wood, I'm going to craft another chest. This is going to be for mining things. I know it's a bit messy and all over the place now, but it won't be soon. So all my mining stuff can go in there. Like geodes and monster loot and all that good stuff. There we go. Let's get another bar on before we leave. Or do what we're going to do today. Which, like I said, I do want to still grind the mine. So I think it's going to be the same thing. There's not really much more I can do today. Or that I want to do. I just want to get as much copper and get down to iron as, as quick as possible. Hopefully we can make good progress just before the festival. We might not have any sprinklers by then because, yeah, the iron floors are a long way away. And I do want to upgrade the pickaxe to copper as quick as possible. Especially before we get to the iron stages. So all we can do for now is just keep progressing and do the best we can. I would like to do a relaxing day of fishing. Maybe that will be tomorrow or the last day of the episode. Right, we've got two parsnips to eat first. I might have to eat these now to get that stamina to the top. We did have to water, so... And then we'll take these six spring onions. That should be good. Let's get down to 25. That would be nice. I mean, um, to be honest, the time's already, like, ticking. It's already 11 a.m. 20 it would be an achievement. Let's whack you on the head. Boosh! It's like whack-a-mole. It reminds me of that game when you've got the club. Is there already a ladder spawned? Because I can't find one. No. Nope. Walter does not have good luck with the mines. Wow. There we go, finally. I will need to grab this quartz as well. It's quite dark on this floor. Now, I was going to focus on the tea sapling method to try and get a bit of money. So, getting Caroline to two hearts, get her a recipe, and do the old thing for selling one tea sapling for 500. But if you see my last video, we can't actually do that anymore because tea saplings only sell for 250 gold now. They've been half. And yeah, even though you can still make profit and okay money, it's not the best thing to do now. And it's the effort seems more hassle than it's worth. So I don't think for this playthrough we're going to do tea saplings. You know what? Yeah, I've been doing it for quite a while to make money. Let's do other things. It'd be quite good to take a step from that method, you know? I mean, I'm glad it's been nerfed in some way because now you have to rely on other ways to make money, not the tea saplings. So I guess it's quite a positive thing, really. I cannot see what I'm doing. There could be a ladder here. I just have no idea. It is so dark. And we've got no stamina. I've been hitting every single rock I can see. Oh my God, where's the ladders at? I've never had this bad luck in a mine before. I feel like there's a ladder spawned somewhere and I can't see it. There we go. Wow. That's drained my stamina right there. I've got one cherry bomb I might place right here. See if we can get a ladder at the start. Nope, not even that could give me one. I've got two spring onions to my name and we are out of stamina. So I don't even think we'll be able to get to 20. I wanted to get to 25. That is not going to happen, is it? This, uh, yeah, these mines have been rough so far. I must admit. At this point, I'll just take the copper and get out of here. There's no way I'm going to find the ladder with the stamina I've got. I mean, look at the size of this floor. Well, here goes. Can we get lucky? One swing wonder. Nope. This has been rough, rough. Can make another cherry bomb. We can make two. Absolutely nothing, guys. Is there a big cluster anywhere? Maybe here? Come on. Give me one. Oh, wow. This is so bad. And there we go. We're, we're out. We can't do anything else. That was rubbish. We got two levels down. So it's just a case of maybe just resetting the floor and trying to get some copper. This has been terrible. I can honestly say my entire time playing Stardew Valley... This has been the worst start to a mine like run ever. I've got five pieces of copper and I've been doing this all day long. We've got no stamina, I can't find any ladders. It's like it's broken. There is no copper anywhere. Look, every time I come on the floor, there is nothing. I've never seen anything like it. The only thing that can save this is the ancient seed, which we're probably not going to get. Oh my god, a little bit of copper. First time I've seen some in a long time. And by the way, this is an actual good luck day. 
It's meant to be a decent day today, and that does not feel like it at all. I think I'm just getting out of here. We've got 17 more pieces of copper. Absolutely rubbish. What a waste of my time. What a waste of a day. I even used my, like, three or four pieces of coal that we found for cherry bombs to try and help. Didn't help at all. Well, literally with no stamina, I'm going to go to sleep. I think tomorrow we're going to go down to the saloon. There's the sprinkler. Let's go. And the mayonnaise machine. We need to craft both of these. And the staircase. Yeah, I'm going to buy some salad or some bread. Some of the cheapest thing that Gus offers for food. Because stamina is becoming quite an issue with the watering that we have to do. So, let's check the weather. It's sunny tomorrow, it said. And, of course, again, we've got um, a very, very good fortune. Which doesn't seem to be giving us any fortune whatsoever. I must admit. But we got some potatoes! Let's go. So, we don't actually need a potato for the spring crop. We need the carrot, which is the new one, and the collie and the green bean, which we're waiting for. So, any potatoes that we grow and, you know, harvest, we can just use for food or to sell. So, it's not too bad. You know what? I should maybe go and check for spring onions as well. I'm going to use the silver one for a bit of food today. Now, how much, what do we need to craft the mayonnaise? It's 15, so one copper, one earth crystal. You know what, I think we can actually make two. Didn't we get two earth crystals? Yes, we do, and two copper. You know what, I'll save, yeah, we'll do the mayonnaise first. That's gonna be good money. Have we got enough wooden stone for this to make two? Yes, we do. We got two chickens, so that's perfect. Mayonnaise is going to increase our profits a little bit more. And of course, we can now drink mayonnaise, which <laughs> I don't think is going to be very tasty. But it will give us some energy and health if we really need to. So, But we do need it for money. So let's go ahead and fill up the watering can. And let our chickens outside to graze. Fill more too. Oh, we've got large eggs now. This is even better for mayonnaise. Now, we don't actually have the animal bundle this time. We've got the garden bundle. Through, unless it's on the bulletin board. But I don't think it is, right? We've not unlocked that yet. So I'm just going to make mayonnaise. Good chickens. Good, good, good chickens. More copper bars. Let's keep pushing these out as well. We'll smell as much as we can today. Oh, good morning, Chief. He was excited to see me there. That's nice. It's cute. So it looks like in the next episode, we will be attending the Spring Egg Festival. Competing in that. <laughs> Old Winston against the kiddos. That sounds so strange. But, you know, he wants a little bit of enjoyment in his life. He fancied doing it maybe for one time only. And all the other years, we won't do it. But just for one time to get involved with the, with the community, he fancies having a little bit of fun. So we'll do it for one time just to get the hat and then we'll never do it again. So 3,000. Let's take a look at this. this um, yeah, so the sprinklers are just one copper, one iron. I really want to upgrade the pickaxe, but we've not got enough copper. We need to go even more crazy on the copper. I feel like we might do this day again in the mines. I know it's quite stressful to see. I think what we'll do is we'll only have a little bit of time. I'm going to go down, get the lost axe, and then on the way up to the mines, give it to Robin. That's going to give us 250 gold. Also, there's a chance to find any forage down here, including spring onions, which we need food. Might even have to go to, yeah, Gus's saloon. We've just not got enough. Ooh, this is the, uh, the cutscene for the sewers. I see spring onions there. Can you see them? Nice. So I will skip a lot of these. I've, I've gone through them for over years and years. You know, all the dialogues and stuff. This is more Winston's journey on just escaping the city life and enjoying the countryside, farming, gardening, raising animals. You know, the community will come. We'll talk to people and get all the friendship up eventually. We're not going to get married or anything like that as well. So I'm not too, too interested in all the dialogue and NPCs just yet. But there's a ton of spring onions here. This is going to be amazing for us. This is what we needed. 14 normal quality. Let's go. I will not be selling them at all. And there's the lost axe. It was worth coming down to get it, in my opinion. The spring onions are really going to help us out. I'm going to eat this silver one right now. That's going to put us on to 210 stamina. You know what? I might even eat the potato as well. 245. Come on. The only thing with spring onions is the fact that they only give you 13 energy. It's not very good at all. I prefer the field snacks if possible because they give you 45. Um, we'll just need more acorns. Right, let's get another one of these on before we leave. Right, Winston, we are leaving. Look after the place. Be a good boy. And we'll see you this evening. Look after the chickens. Don't eat them. Now, yeah, we're only going to have half a day down here because I've got to go into Robin as well. Let's give her this. 
There we go. I'll take that 250. Thank you very much. Right, please have a better luck day today in the mines. Ah, better get down to 20 today. Yesterday was awful. If we really need to, it's going to keep us going. That gives us 45 energy. Very similar to field snacks. Not bad at all. That's why I like slaying all the bugs if I see them. If I see a grub or a bug, just kill it for the bug meat. Because bug steaks are pretty good. There, that's a better start. We've literally got a ladder. Let's go. Like I said, look, let's get that bug meat. We're going to need those. And let's get straight down. No messing. Oh my god, it just gets worse. It just gets worse, guys. It gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, we got a yam. Do we need to donate that? Yes, we do. Oh, we just found one of the books. This is the monster one. So they now have a, a small chance to drop loot or double loot. That's amazing. What a find that is. I'm going to read that right away. Walter just learned his first ever new book. That's amazing. All we need is the ancient seed. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, what a hit. We just leveled up a combat, I believe. All right, no ancient seed. Okay. That was rough. That was rough. But we got down. We got down. We did it in the end. Oh, a ladder straight away. I will just have a quick browse. I don't like missing things. I think we may possibly finally get down to floor 20 this time. Oh, crap. And look, after all this, our first copper. It's crazy. I'm just not finding much of this at all. But I do have a ladder drop right there, so that's amazing. All right, I've got some more copper. Now, there will be some coal down here. I'll take six pieces right there. Let's go. Right, one more floor to go. Oh, it's this horrible spiral floor. I completely forgot about this. Oh, and the bugs are coming too. This game is just not liking me right now. <laughs> this is not fair. Not only is it the worst floor in the game because it takes takes you all the way down, but it's also infested. Yeah, look at that. They're all turning. Oh, ladder. I'm just getting straight down. I don't even care. We've got the steel small sword. I still think the one we've got is better. Yeah, four to eight damage. Look at that. But we can sell those. Right, now we finally have got this decent floor here, which you can farm for copper. Just keep resetting it. It's not too bad. Just leave. Go back on to 20. Down to 21. So now that's what I'm just going to keep doing. Whilst I'm here, I want the copper, so... Oh, and there we go. We've got some decent stuff this time. Quite a lot of copper and a topaz. I'm going to steal some of these torches to take back with us. <laughs> it's quite dark on the farm, so... They're going to get put to good use. But this is what we wanted. This is amazing. So much copper right now. Let's go, Walter. Let's go. We've not had one thing to eat yet. That's the difference we've had today. The stamina is just still there. We've still got less than half. Oh, yes, an amethyst. This is more like it. It actually feels like a good luck day for once. Oh, even better. More copper. And look, the stamina is finally dropping. We are about to eat our first thing. I'm going to take that red mushroom. We might need it for one of the bundles. It's worth grabbing while I see it. Because you know there'll be a time where we need it and I can't find it. Oh, yes. We've got a little bit more to take back with us. Any ancient seed? Come on. No, we ain't that lucky today. All right, let's get out of here. That is a good mine run. Best one so far, finally. We've got 40 pieces of bug meat. That's four more bug steaks. So that's five in total. That's, that's really good food right there. Two cave carrots as well. Some cherry bombs. I kind of keep mining stuff up here. We've got 53 pieces of copper. You know what? I think we can have a day off from mining tomorrow. Maybe do some fishing. Get some things done around town. The travel lady will be here as well, so we can have a little nosy there. Maybe donate some bundles as well. We've got quite a lot of stuff in here that we could maybe drop off. Maybe process some geodes and donate some artifacts as well. We found quite a lot from fishing in the last episode. Right, we've got a little bit of light that we can use. Oh, nice. I love that you can walk through them as well. That's a lot better than it was. So let's sleep. Level 2 combat. The potatoes made us 600 gold. The harvest should be ready soon. We need these to come in today, really. So we can make some money for... Oh, no. Are they going to be ready? 
I need to make the money for the strobes. Yes! They're all ready. We timed it perfect. Perfection! Potato! So we can sell these today, ship them, and then the egg festival is tomorrow, which is going to be in the next episode. Oh, look, a carrot's done as well, which we do need, so I'm going to keep hold of that. Let's go. They do not take long to grow. And we've got a letter tomorrow at the, the egg festival. Nice. We're going to sell all of these today, get as much money as possible. And it looks like we can start prepping the, um, the land a little bit more as well, ready for our sprinklers. We'll do that in the morning, though. I need to still water these ones. Which is, yeah, the mixed seeds that gave us some cauliflowers. I'm hoping we can keep them there when it comes to, and the green bean, when it comes to actually doing the layout. If they are in a diggable spot, that'll be perfect. All right, sort the chickens out and get some copper in the furnace. Try and smelt through a lot of this today. All right, these are happy. We've got our first lot of mayonnaise. Where's the other chicken? The grass, there you are. Yeah, we should have our first mayonnaise today. Oh, gold quality as well because there was large eggs. Come on. Good money right here. Looks like they give you 90 energy if you eat them. Wow. Should we make another furnace? Maybe we should, you know. 25 stone. Might not be a bad idea. Let's get two on the go. Make these bars smell a lot faster. So we've got quite a lot to do. Quite a lot to do. I do want to, like I said, donate these artifacts. We do actually have Strange Doll. I think we've got... Yeah, we've got five to donate. That's insane. I might hold off on the CC for a while until we get a little bit more. Let's definitely do the artifacts today and process 14 Geo to try and find some more. We've even got a frozen one too. Uh, of course, we are going to need one of these topaz and amethyst and a quartz. So we've got three more things to donate there as well. Right, why that's smelting? Let's go check the travel lady, see if there's anything new and exciting for us that we might need for any of the bundles. Cop surprise, fried egg, parsnip, a rhubarb, poppy seeds, a lot of seeds, coral, stone floor magnet, purple mushroom, fiddle head risotto. I mean, that's very pricey. I'm pretty sure we might be able to find one of those. Um, I also did say that I want to do the mushroom cave instead of the fruit bats, so we possibly will find that. It's Friday. Is there anything decent that we can forage today? I don't see anything. I haven't even been down this way in a while as well. Not even one spring onion. Right, to Clint's we go then. Well, we'll do the museum first. The bookseller's here as well today. I thought I saw that notification. This is quite exciting. We might be able to afford a new book. I know one of them, if, if it's here, is quite cheap, and that's to be able to see the price of things. Yeah, it's 3000 Do we get this? No, we need to save our money for the strawbs. Oh, I mean, this will be handy, though. We've got to get some strawberry seeds, so I'm going to have to wait, because we've got 4K to our name, and whatever we make today from the potatoes. Ooh, a topaz in there trash can there okay there's the cutscene of course to start everything off yep perfect let's donate to the museum just kind of put things anywhere at this point i'm not going to make it nice and pretty in order but we do have our first lot of rewards which is the cauliflower seeds and i believe 12 days yeah we've got enough time to plant these which is nice but it's not over because we have got a lot more things to process geode time let's do the frozen first we've got ooh. Esperite, so we need all of this stuff. Come on. Oh my god, we got the dwarf elm straight away. New artifact there to donate. So I like to see all new minerals. Earth crystals are always good as well because we are going to get a lot of mayonnaise machines eventually. Animals is going to be the way forward on this playthrough. Oh, one stone. We're doing so good. Come on. Another earth crystal. Come on, let's go. Ooh, is that the thunder egg? And we're going to have to get rid of the soggy newspaper. It's trash anyway. So there we go, quite a lot of new stuff there that we can donate today. That is all the geodes done. Obviously we've spent about 200 gold, but I think it's worth it. Because we need to eventually complete all of this uh, museum. It is one of the tasks that I'd love to do. Looking amazing. Have we got any really more? Ooh, we've even got the melon and the star fruit. Come on. Let's read these books. We've only found two so far. Right, that's, that's pretty good. That was a great day. We've got a few things that we can sell as well to make some more money. Oh, a Joja Cola. Let's go. Maybe we'll do some evening, nighttime fishing now and end off the episode nice and relaxing. Get a little bit more cash ready for tomorrow. Get cl as close to 10k as possible. That's a lot of seeds. I don't even know how much to buy. I think I'm just going to, in this little corner, do the cauliflower. I don't think we'll be coming out this far anyway because we've got a lot of space down that side. 
There's a chance we get a giant cauliflower. You never know. Right, tools away for today. Get the fishing rod out. Yeah, let's go up to the lake and have all night up there. Right, we're going to my favorite place. And uh, this is me for the entire night. Let's see how good we can do. I'll keep you posted with like interesting things like things in treasure chests. And yeah, you know how it is. But right now, it's all about trying to get as much cash in as possible. Ready for the festival. I don't want to overbuy straw seeds if we can't plant them. And of course, we've not even got sprinklers yet. So we do have to water all of them uh, ourselves. So it's going to be quite stressful. Um, could really do with trying to get some iron, but we're still kind of far away. We've got to go another 20 floors just to get to 40, which is the one that we need. So maybe tomorrow, well, in the next episode, we'll do the festival, buy the seeds, plant them down to where they will eventually need to be, and we'll have to water a few days, and then just grind the mines for the iron in the next episode, and hopefully craft as many as we can. Sprinklers that is so this is good. We're getting iridium quality fish. That is really tasty because that's gonna be good money right there Walter is definitely getting the knack for fishing. Oh our first chest. Let's try and get this. It's only a carp anyway Come on. Give me a new artifact or something very rare End off the episode nicely Ooh, 20 bait With a geode and seven rice shoes still the rice shoes. <laughs> What's all that about? But 110 bait come on Oh, some bubbles have appeared just underneath me there. If they stay there long enough, we might be okay. We can't reach from here as well. Come on. This is going to be a lot faster. Oh, a chest as well. Let's go and get this. I think this is only the second one of the night. Not many at all. Can it be something decent? Some more copper. Hey, we'll take it. We need copper, always. <gasps> the bubbles have gone. No. Well, I use 10 bait, and then I end up getting 10 bait in a chest. <laughs> so I'm literally never running out. But night is upon us. I'll probably leave about midnight to make it back in time, just to put a massive shift in with fishing here. Ooh, Jojo Cola. Just trying to get as much as I can. And we got another chest. Oh, it's going good now. It's going good. It's picking up. It was a rough start, but it's starting to get better. Although we are getting a lot of carp. The worst one we could possibly get. <gasps> and there we go. A brand new artifact. The anchor. We have yet to donate this. So that is a brand new one for the collection. Absolutely perfect. I think that's end of the night. Lovely. Exactly what I wanted. It's always nice when you're doing fishing to at least find one new artifact. And the anchor can be quite tricky to find sometimes. So I'm glad we've got that over and done with. Oh, more bubbles have appeared. But we are starting to get exhausted. No. Well, we'll use them. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to eat something if I want to stay a little bit longer. All right, bubbles, please stay. Please stay, please stay. Just a little bit. Come on, a little bit longer. Don't go on me. Stay till midnight. And the chest as well. It's all kicking off. It is all kicking off. Geodes of topaz. Oh. Two topaz. And we're back with another chest. I can't keep up. I cannot keep up. We've still got 30 minutes left as well. Might be able to get another one or two in before we leave. Oh, the deluxe bait, the brand new one. I've got so many rice shoes, guys. I'm getting rid of them. I'm sick of them. The bubbles are still here. Oh, it's going to be the last one. I've got no stamina. Yeah, I'm going to end it on this one. I could stay here till mid, like pat, until I pass out. Because the bubbles and I've got things to eat, but I don't know. Um, I might be able to cast one more here. And we do have to get back in time. I don't want to get a, a decrease in stamina tomorrow because we're going to need every bit of stamina we can get. It's a busy day with the strobes, so... Yeah, let's get out of here. That is a lot of fish to sell, though. I'm hoping we can get close to 10k tomorrow with the potatoes as well. Right, question is, do we need any of these fish? Bullhead, largemouth. I think I've already kept those, though, right? And we've got level 3 farming... With level 6 fishing, that is amazing. And there we go, look at this. Oh, just what I wanted, 7k plus our free. We are ending the day and starting the next episode on 10,000 gold, baby. That's going to be perfect for the egg festival. 11.2k, and we've got the achievement for 15k as well. So we've only earned 18k. It's, it sounds not very much, but for 13 days, I'll take it. That's not bad at all. 
And that is where we're going to end this episode, guys. The next one is going to be amazing. We've got a lot to do. So make sure you stick around, subscribe, smash the like button if you're enjoying this series. There's going to be more to come. We've got a ton to do, a lot of new content to discover for the 1.6 update. And yeah, Walter's journey is only just begun. We've got a lot and a lot to experience. Please leave me lots of feedback down below in the comments. Let me know how you want the direction to go for this playthrough. We, you've already gave me some amazing suggestions on having Krobus as the roommate, you know, not marrying, having no kids, because, you know, Walter's quite old, bless him. What shall we spend our money on? Shall we get more chickens? Shall we upgrade the coop? Shall we get a barn? Like, what shall we do next? But until then, I'll see you all on the next one, guys. Stay safe. Stay cozy.